A somber salute to a fallen Fremont County deputy. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm David Earl. Rob's off tonight. Iowa law enforcement escorted 37-year-old Melvin Richardson's body to Hamburg tonight. The state patrol says Richardson's patrol car collided with a combine near Sydney Tuesday afternoon. Richardson was also a volunteer firefighter. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon was there as his friends and colleagues welcomed him home for a final time. They're about 80 miles away right now. Sydney Volunteer Fire Chief Craig Marshall and firefighter William Boyd wait for one last goodbye. Hanging Melvin Richardson's gear above the procession along I-29, a volunteer firefighter in Sydney and Percival. Well, that's the first time I met him was at a fire scene. He's a good firefighter. I met him a long, gosh, 20, some, 20 years ago, maybe something like that. And with years of experience, these small town heroes come to know the people they tend to. But Tuesday afternoon, it was their friend who needed help while he was out on duty as a Fremont County deputy. Officials say Deputy Richardson was driving northbound here on Highway 275 when that combine was driving south here near 260th Street when they crashed. Homeowners behind us say they could hear the impact Tuesday afternoon. Fremont County draped the black and blue band over one of its cruisers Wednesday. Fellow first responders offered their best with flowers for a wife and three children left behind. He was raised about 10 miles south of where we're standing. He went to school in this area, graduated high school from, from this area, but he stayed here. He stayed because he cared, and Fremont County knew him best. You were his, uh, part of the wedding party? Yeah, I was a groomsman at his wedding. Feeling the loss together, Fremont County is one big town. Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.